The University of Houston researcher and his team have discovered an important link between alcohol and breast cancer by identifying a cancer-causing gene that's triggered by alcohol. The 2015 Houston study shows alcohol enhances the actions of estrogen in driving the growth of breast cancer cells and diminishing the effects of a cancer drug, tamoxifen, on blocking estrogen by increasing the levels of that cancer-causing gene. To date, the only dietary link, the only one to an increased risk of breast cancer is alcohol use. One in eight women will have an encounter with breast cancer in her lifetime, and it takes relatively little alcohol to boost that cancer risk. As little as one drink a day can lead to a double-digit increase in the chance of getting the disease. Three to four servings of alcohol per day give you the same risk as smoking a pack of cigarettes. Alcohol increases production of estrogen. Estrogen increases are behind 80% of the breast cancers. Toxic alcohol also creates another toxin, acetaldehyde. That second toxin has been shown to alter DNA and breast tissue in younger drinkers, leading to an increased risk of cancer later in life. A journal of the National Cancer Institute report showed that a double-digit increase in breast cancer risk for women who drank as little as one drink daily between the first period cycle and the first pregnancy. The results were independent of drinking after the first pregnancy. That study also discovered an increase in benign breast disease, a non-cancerous condition, which accounts for about 80% of breast lumps. Those benign lumps do increase the risk of breast cancer by about 500%. The more alcohol consumed between the onset of that first period and the first pregnancy, the greater risk for both benign breast disease and breast cancer. More than 100 studies between 1920 and now have conclusively linked alcohol consumption to increased risk of breast cancer. A consensus panel formed by the American Institute for Cancer Research in 2007 concluded this, the evidence on cancer justifies a recommendation not to drink alcoholic drinks. And that's a recommendation still maintained by the organization.